Well, Russia and China are vowing to strengthen ties after Vladimir Putin met Beijing's top diplomat. Russia's president also addressed a rally of thousands of people in a freezing Moscow stadium. And he called for them to stand by their armed forces as they fight in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin walks into tumultuous applause. They've been waiting a long time and it is bitterly cold. From the president, a rallying cry for their men at the front and for unity. Мы гордимся ими, гордимся и в их честь трижды ура! 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 People had been pouring in since morning, many from state companies, even though it was never officially confirmed the president would show. And just outside the stadium, the buses they came in on, row upon row of them. It is extraordinary that an event the president may or may not attend, and which we can't get accreditation for even days before, manages to attract tens of thousands of people hours before he's even rumoured to show up. It really speaks to the power of the state machinery working away in the background. How do you feel about sort of being told to come to an event that then's shown on state TV as a great patriotic moment? Мы живем в такой стране, здесь говорят одно, на самом деле другое. Если кого-то что-то не устраивает, люди уезжают из другие страны. То есть. Вы хотите мира, и мы хотим мира. Поэтому я Почему не есть мира? Вы знаете, это политика, и пусть ваши разбираются. Вот научите свое правительство, чтобы они знали, как... We come across some well-known faces, the head of the Nightwolves Bikers Club, who's known to ride with Putin. I wish you to get rid of the American yoke, he tells me. The US president was having a meeting in Warsaw at that moment with countries who'd shaken off the Soviet yoke. The Bucharest Nine, they're called, now NATO's eastern flank. Thank you. While in Moscow earlier in the day, Vladimir Putin had met with China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, at the end of his European tour, as questions swirl over China's intentions and whether it might move to support Russia militarily. Back in the stadium, extraordinary scenes. Children the West would say were abducted by Russia from the streets of bombed-out Mariupol, here described as rescued. The soldier who took them, 367 in all, fated, and these are touching scenes. It speaks to the way that both sides see this terrible war through a glass darkly, with little chance on either side that sentiments will change. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.